Welcome into the studio and to my Toucan Pastel Beak demonstration. If you want to see me do the full drawing, that's over on my Patreon art channel. If you find these free videos on YouTube useful, below the video there's a thanks button and you can make a small donation, pretty much like buying me a cup of coffee just to say thanks for the video. Okay, so the background's pretty much done. I've done a little bit of the eye as well. But on the beak, the black that you're seeing at the moment is just black gouache paint. Now I've done a few videos on YouTube and on my Patreon channel showing exactly how I do that gouache and the reasons behind it. But briefly, I do that so that I'm not smudging black pastel at early stages and also so that it stays in position. Now that background's in place, I can start on the beak. Now, you look at the reference photo, it's a black beak, but I've increased the color on the reference that I'm working from, the one you see in top right, that's the original reference. So I altered it a bit in Photoshop to make it uh, a bit more vibrant with the colors. The colors that were already there, but I've punched them up quite a bit. And um, what I'm seeing on the beak as well is hints of colors, okay, in various areas, especially the highlight areas, so areas that are not completely black. And I'm seeing purples and blues in there, subtle shades of it, and that's all gonna make it more interesting for the viewer to look at. So I'm gonna overlay or layer up those colors. So I put some purple down first, now I'm putting some blue down. You can see it's only very small amount of pastel going on there and once I've got these colors down on there I'm going to use my paper stump and I'm going to blend everything in because I certainly don't want any graininess in this beak area at all. So I'll have those colors on there and then I'm going to gradually put in the darks, the really dark blacks as well and then I can put the highlights on top. And these colors will show through in places. And as I said, it'll make it much more interesting for the viewer to look at. So I'm gonna layer the colors in and then blend them in to make them nice and smooth. Here you can see that difference that the blending makes and also notice how the gouache once again is just staying in place so there's that benefit of that again, no muddiness. You see this blending all the colours together now. As I said I'll, I'll start darkening this up on top but those colours, lots of the colours are going to show through in very subtle ways. So now this is blended, I'm going to go over it again, another layer, a darker layer. I still put lots of colors in for now. The blacks can wait then till the end. And uh, I think you'll see that the beak doesn't look realistic at this stage, but it will as I progress with the layers. So another layer going on top first, a good bit darker again in places. Okay, so now it's time to come in with some of the real dark. So I've got my black pit pastel pencil. So it looks really black, but when I come in later on and put in my darkest darks, which will be the Creta Color Black Chalk, 
then you'll see how much darker they go. It goes even beyond that of a, a black pastel pencil such as this. Okay, so that'll give me even more of a tonal range. So I'm just going to darken a lot of these areas up. You can see how smooth the beak is starting to look now as well. And the black obviously will bring that beak forwards from the background. Okay, so I'll separate it away now from the background because it'll be the darkest part of the bird. Now I can blend in with my finger where I want it to be a nice, easy, smooth transition because I've already blended the pastel down into the surface to get rid of most of the graininess with the paper stump. Okay, so this is a further darkening stage, further refinement. Now this is that Creticolor black chalk. Now they also sell these leads as in Creticolor graphite or something like that is called, but what you need, it must say the black chalk, okay? Otherwise it's, it's a graphite and it won't do this at all. It'll be the wrong thing. And the, it doesn't come in the red holder. You buy that separate. It just comes as like the leads. I think it's six in a pack. But you can see it's it is substantially darker and in real life it looks even darker than that but look we've separated that beak from the top to the bottom now i can just use this on its side and darken areas up and as i said that's really given me a substantially darker tonal uh, value and it's really causing a lot of impact i see a punchy appearance in a lot of my videos and this is how you get it it's a large range from the darkest dark to the lightest light now on top of all that work I've done now I can come in and start to add the highlights with pastels we generally work or at least I do I get the average color the general color in place then I get the real darks in then finally I start going lighter and lighter till I get to the final highlights and I'm doing that lightening process now and it's really just skimming the pencil across the surface now I can come back in and glaze a color over the, another if I want just to color it up a bit more you see I'm not pushing hard, but if I want to make it lighter, I can push that bit harder as well. And see it's starting to look more three-dimensional, giving it a bit more shape. Now to add to the realism on the beak, we've got little areas, small areas, where the beak is peeling away. Okay, you see this on most of the birds, you see it on um, 
parrots and parakeets and budgies and, and things you see this very fine layer just peeling away in places and all I'm doing is just using my pencil on the side to create the texture and then I can just drag out you see a few lines here and there in places if I want to soften it just a touch I can touch it with my finger don't need an extremely sharp pencil for this but see I'm just indicating areas that's peeling away okay and I can do that on a few of these sections on this top beak especially Now you can see the difference between the top beak and the bottom beak that's just the black gouache. What I'm going to do now is just indicate a few more of these details, these bits of texture on the top beak. And then I'm going to adjust a bit of the background that I'm not quite happy with at the moment. Just wanted to quickly mention my Patreon channel for those looking for even more in-depth art instruction. It's packed full of pastel videos oil videos as well and those videos are being added to new ones every single month i have videos for the complete beginner that have never done pastels or oils before with just limited supplies and i take you from the very first blocking in all the way through to the final detailed drawings and paintings I've also got some really unusual subjects as well and in all of my videos I always take you through all the details you see everything I do how I create my work but it's not just for beginners it's also for novices and I also show the best artwork that I've ever done as well and this particular elephant video spans six hours so you know you're going to see tons and tons of details tips and techniques and as mentioned I've got lots of oil videos on there too so there really is something for everybody and you get access to hundreds of hours worth of videos for just four dollars. Now over a thousand members strong hope to see you there soon.